in the last episode, we were working on the castle. Welcome, builders. Andy is Yoda here. We're going to leave the castle for this episode and not do the island. Lots of ideas for the island. I think the island's probably going to be some sort of prison. By the way, if you're new, we've done a market, we've done a farm, a library, all sorts of things in this Village to Kingdom series, episode 13. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got a bit of a space in here. I'm going to be doing the cathedral, finishing the cathedral today. But this big space here, I'm thinking we can do an amphitheater. Somewhere where you could put on plays. Somewhere where you put on some sort of production. There'd be actors, some sort of story being told. Hey, if you like this kind of thing, if you like my channel, then do remember to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. And that way you'll get notified of live streams as well as my videos. So the cathedral, it's time to finish it off. The last few blocks are being placed. Uh, cathedrals typically took, in medieval times, hundreds of years sometimes to build. I know Durham Cathedral in the northeast of England took 60 years, and that was quite a quick cathedral. But something like York Minster in York in England took 250 years to build. So we need to have some more walls, more wallage coming up here to contain and protect our precious cathedral. So let's spin the camera around here and slow down a little bit and simply add in some more walls. Thank you so much for all your amazing comments that you've been sending in, sending in particularly from Random Twin. Oh my goodness, what an amazing comment he sent in. He's given me all sorts of great ideas. For example, the castle should have stockpiles and armories and smiths within the walls. That way they can better hold off a siege. What a good way of thinking. Very clever. And we're going to add some catapults and trebuchets. So more castle coming up for sure. We're going to be adding a few more walls to it today. And that's going to actually enhance it. But yeah, he's also suggested a glassblower shop, a silversmith, a goldsmith, a jeweler, a brewery, an inn and a stable for travelers, a fletcher, a bow maker for hunters, carpentry for furniture, and even a monastery somewhere in the background that the monks could sit there reading their books. Well, thank you so much to Random Twin for such amazing ideas. We're going to try and do as many of them as possible in the coming weeks. So um, here we are just adding in a little bit of a wall. By the way, if you'd like to see me build this and record this, I record this on Twitch. So follow me on Twitch dot tv forward slash andy is your twitch.tv forward slash andy is your and you could be watching me record this and suggesting things in real time so so check it out twitch dot tv forward slash andy is yoda hey it's coming up to uh, may 1st and on may 1st i'm going to be uh, updating my download package where you can download all my five by five builds eventually this kingdom will be part of that package and if you want to uh, download all my five by five upgrade builds then check out patreon.com forward slash andy is yoda well um this tower blocked off the river so i've had to make this little archway under the tower with a bit of a defensive grill under here and this is the way the water is going to flow sneak peek under my kingdom <laughs> got a few tunnels under there so yeah um need to finish off this little bit of wall area here and then it's going to leave us a nice little bit of room for today's build which is going to be an amphitheater and then towards the end of the uh, video i'll go back to first person view and take a little bit of a walk through and show you a bit of a fly around uh, maybe inside the cathedral along the castle walls and down into the amphitheater because we're going to build some pretty spectacular little steps on the inside of the amphitheater and it won't be picked out um, by the speed build so we're actually going to be removing some of the interior walls next to the fortified farm and next to the library uh, that's going to give us extra space inside our kingdom um, and as I say we're going to build an amphitheater but there's going to be a lot of extra space left over so let me know what you think should go into those empty spots so the walls are getting deleted <laughs> some interior walls being deleted and we're nearly at the point where we're going to be doing the amphitheater one last wall here and I put an extra bit of mountainage in as well extra bit of uh, terrain so there we go so I'm building in Minecraft 1.12 I'm using world edit and voxel sniper because I'm on a PC Java edition 
of Minecraft where you can build with some special tools which let you make things like circles, for example. So these are all the seats of the amphitheater raked down nice and steeply so everyone can have a good view of whatever production, whatever play, musical, maybe an opera is being produced. So very sophisticated. We have some leisure in our town. We have places where you can go and spend your money, you pay your money and uh, you get to see a play. And I saw an amazing production. I took my mother to Rome for her birthday a few years ago. And we went to, um, oh, where was it called? That, that, that big town. I'm basing, look, that picture, the inset picture that you just saw there. That's what I'm basing um, this amphitheater on. And also the one I went to in Verona. That's it, Verona in Italy. I took my mother there for her birthday. And we went to see Tosca, the opera. And it was pretty epic indeed. All the candles being lit by all the audience pretty amazing if you ever get to Verona then do make sure to check out the opera even if you're not into opera I wasn't into opera but I really enjoyed it anyway it was a great experience and a good birthday present for me mum okay so this is the stage area of the uh, the amphitheater this stage would be what I would call the set kind of the permanent set it could be the side of a castle could be the side of a house it could be just the side of a wall. It could be the side of a building or a shop. It could be anything you want in the play. All the actors and actresses would come out of the doors, the balconies. You know, they would go in, out, lots of stage exits and stage entrances to make the story work. So I added some wall blocks on the top and some uh, stone slabs. And then I had to do some archways around the base. And this took a bit of a time actually to get this correct. It was a little bit difficult. I could copy and paste some bits, but the rest of it had to be built, obviously, by hand. And it makes it difficult when the archways are on a diagonal, but I think I, I managed it okay. Okay, adding in a little bit of pink granite, polished granite for a floor. I was able to kind of just finish things off and make sure everything was correct on just one half of my amphitheater and once I've got one half of my amphitheater done of course I can use world edit to copy paste and flip and make a mirror image to the other side but before I do that of course I'm going to put on some supports here and these wooden supports are going to um, make an awning or a canopy over the amphitheater and I thought this was a clever idea and something that actually um, archaeologists think really actually was there because when they look at amphitheaters um, they find holes where you would get wooden poles put f through and what would the wooden poles be for of course they're going to support some sort of shade for all the people who come to see the play so we're going to have this big sort of canvas sail held up by these wooden bits and I'm going to use iron bar to represent the kind of the rope and the strings and there we go that is the amphitheater complete so i'm going to switch now to first person view and take you down into the amphitheater so you can see exactly what it looks like so here we are on the ground outside the cathedral and the amphitheater i'll show you down the stairs in the amphitheater really really pleased with these stairs you can go down that stair or this one right here and it leads you down to the same uh, opening right here and of course the amphitheater is right here so you could be sitting up here I guess and watching the play with our nice view and even getting a little bit of shade from up there and of course the stairs are the same on all three sides now into the cathedral I'll show you very quickly inside the cathedral it is a little dark in here so let me just grab a torch as well and then we'll just venture in placing some torches this is the Notre Leon Cathedral uh, Leon watching and supporting on twitch.tv so yeah, cathedral looking pretty smart in here. A bit dark in places, but not too shabby. Right, uh, let's go slash top and I'll just show you around the rest of this place so far. We've got some walls coming all the way around here. These walls maybe need some sort of wooden supports or covers in certain places and some staircases up. I think I did build that at one point, but I think I've got rid of it by mistake. The castle does need a lot more detail added to it. I want to bring out some sort of uh, entryway right here. and kind of just extend this all the way out and some sort of bridge going between there and there. A bridge going between there and there somehow would be quite good as well. But we have this extra space in here called a space A as well. And space B, what should go in there? Obviously, we have a lot 
of ideas coming in in the comments and i can't do them all but i'm going to try and do as many as possible so yeah the kingdom is is looking fine i'm really happy with the kingdom so far i don't know if i've shown you the first person view of the canal yet yeah, let's just actually speed up my flying ability but this canal here has got this little kind of uh, chute here we're taking water down into our canal sorry mr wolf you've trapped it down there uh, i've got this lake up here and the lake um can actually should be actually feeding some water like this i would have thought this lake could feed water down into this uh lake here this lake seems to be a bit higher so let's get that done right now so yeah if you want to see this kingdom built if you want to see me spend an episode just adding detail as well then do follow me on twitch.tv forward slash and the is so there's the dock uh, here's the side of the castle here again. We need some sort of bridge going across here. So castle very much uh, Not finished at all. We've got the storage area. We've got furnace We've got the fishing kind of uh, area here the fishing center the townhouse is looking kind of grand Right there at the town hall. I should call it We've got the poor person's house We've got the stonemasons the butchers needs an upgrade a lot of these places do need an upgrade as well We've got the blacksmith the fortified farm my goodness, how far have we come? An awful long way. Guys, that'll do for this episode. Thank you so much indeed for watching. I'm going to try and get a few more episodes out as quickly as I can. Stay tuned and stay cool. Thank you again for watching and take care for now. Ciao, ciao. In the blocks, be with you.